Hey there, how are you? Cardboard moles is what you welcome. It is time to keep the brakes on rolling. Time for 2018 Archives Baseball. Five box half case number three for eBay. Did, did I not mention that? What's up, Fabrice? How are you? All right, there it is. Okay, Aaron. Sounds like a, a nice, wholesome time, you know. If I ever find someone dumb enough to marry me, I'll probably be doing things like that too. You went to the Eagles game yesterday. Oh man, how much fun was that? Right, let me get some water real quick. And I also got a monster. Because Jason never, 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 never accepts what I buy for him. There's no more games in the... In Europe this year? I guess not. Damn, dude. So you went from you, you went from France to England. Uh, did you go like on a train or something? Two hours by train that is so awesome being a whole new country in two hours these packs are not as easy to open as uh, most Tops packs. Is it is it expensive to go by train for briefs? Like if you could put it in dollars, like how much what how much does that ticket cost? I don't know what the what the euro and the dollar are doing right now. Or if you guys even use euros, what do you guys use in France? Uh, pounds? Or maybe that's England? Francs? Ooh. Well, Aaron, you, well, that, that game starts at 1030, doesn't it? Oh, in France it's euros. So I think I think the euro and the dollar are like almost the same right now. I think. So for sixty dollars, you're telling me sixty euros gets you a single ticket. So for about, you know, about $65, I could go from France to London. That's pretty awesome. Or I should say from Paris to London. I want to travel, man. I want to go chill with Fabrice and have uh, dessert for breakfast. Because that's what they do in France, apparently. 
All right, let's see what we got here. I'll do my best to separate the rookies from everything else here. Uh, Stephen Piscotti of the A's to 99. Jones of the Orioles to 175. I want to try to pre sort this as I go, makes it a little easier on my sorters. What up, Marco? Hey, Bryce Harper, rookie history card for the Mets. Jackson rookie history card for the Royals. Nice, Kenny De Nunez, the Sandlot autograph. How's everything with you, Chris Fitz? How was your weekend, man? You want to be all quiet over there on breakers. Yeah. Jose Mesa, Indians autograph. Bryce Harper's going to be a uh, free agent this offseason. Come to Miami. We got good weather. And we got the beaches. <laughs> I'm going to try to keep everything separate here. We need pitching in Miami, though. Just like any team in the majors. Did you, Febreze? Did you like it? It's a uh, very popular movie. In, uh, here in the States. A, a nice, wholesome, uh, growing up tale. Coming of age. Boys becoming young men. And girls becoming young women. It's a classic movie, honestly. Yeah, well, Fabrice, you, you do live in a whole new country, man. <laughs> I'm sure there are movies in, 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 in France that we've never heard of. There is one uh, French film I've seen that I took uh, in one of my... Uh, it was like a... It was like a like a, a theater class, if you will, 
we would we would watch movies and we would critique them and, and stuff. But I I, I want to say Amelie, I think is the name of the movie. It's a French movie, if I'm not mistaken. Or maybe it's Italian. I don't know. I think that's the I think that's the one for Brice. She has like a like a short haircut. She's you know she has you know very very pale skin. Very cute girl. Yeah, I think I think that's the uh, that's the character I'm thinking of. I, I for the life of me, I'm trying to remember what the movie's about. But the uh, the cover art, like the the poster, the movie poster, sticks out in my mind. I couldn't tell you what the movie's about though. Completely forgot. It. Fabrice, what would you say is the most popular American movie in France? For you, it's Back to the Future? Okay. That's a pretty sweet American movie. I would not have guessed Back to the Future. I was thinking maybe like a sci-fi film, maybe like Star Wars or something like that. But Die Hard's a pretty awesome movie. Oh, not Die Hard. I'm, I'm thinking of Die Hard because I, I freaking love Die Hard. But uh, yeah, Back to the Future is not a, not a bad movie at all. Not many are fans of the fourth one, though, when they... Uh, Go to cowboy times. The Tripper Jones top rookie kid card there for the Braves. My favorite movie would, you know, I, I say it again and again, Rocky IV. That's one of those movies I could watch over and over again. Steven Strasberg and the Nationals to 175. Yippee Kaye. That's it's a great movie. I wonder how popular American films are around the world. You know, like are are people like across the pond talking about Citizen Kane, for example? Rich Aurelia, Giants autograph. I like to think that America, the United States of America, is like the number one resource for the for like the world's entertainment not for nothing Fabrice Citizen Kane is, is widely regarded as one of the greatest films period like not just in America but across the across the globe 
I saw it once for my history for my film for my film class. But this dude, this was like over. T I, can't, I can't. I couldn't tell you what it was about. Casablanca is, is another one of those like all time great movies. Jose Mesa, Indians autograph. To ninety nine. Yeah, I was gonna say, you know, I think we most of the entertainment stuff comes from the states. You know, as far as mute movies and music and stuff, stuff of that nature. Like Piazza Dodgers rookie history card. Alrighty. We got two boxes down. I think I'm doing a decent job of keeping this stuff separate here. Why is that, Fabrice? You think it's because of the language barrier? I mean, especially nowadays with like Google Translate and stuff like that. You know, I feel like the, the world is becoming smaller and smaller. You know what I would? You know what I wish, man? I wish someday, hopefully in the near future, hopefully in my lifetime, we can all agree. To respect each other's cultures and our differences and maybe like settle on a global language I vote English because I speak it <laughs> that'll probably not happen in my lifetime though maybe in another hundred years But, like, I'm sure France has, like, some really awesome horror movies. Or, like, maybe you guys, like, have comedies and stuff. I'm, I might not understand some of the nuances, but, you know, comedy is comedy. You know, love stories are, are, are about love, you know, so on and so forth. I just, me personally, man, I, I like being open to everything. I like discovering new cultures and learning about them as much as I can. Because, you know, at the end of the day, man... Yeah, I'm American, but you know what? I'm a human being first. You know, I, I think that a lot of us forget that we're on a giant rock that's spinning in this in a giant void of I don't know what. You know, we're so quick to you know to judge each other and look at what's different, but. We have more in common than we have in difference, you know? And hopefully that day comes soon where we all just realize, you know what, man? We're all people. That's when things, that's when things will start getting real baller. There's no action movies in France? Really? I thought that you guys would have like your own version of James Bond or something like that. Shoot, one of one like one of the best action movies ever has a French dude in it. Uh, it's, it's with Natalie Port, the professional, I think, is the name of the movie. And uh, and the, the the main characters, his name is John Luke something, I think.
Or maybe the character's name was John Luke. I don't know. But that movie's pretty awesome. The Professional. I was kind of right. There we go. I got the John part right. John Paul Belmondo. Shout out to John Paul Belmondo. Willie Stargell of the Pirates to 175. Hercules. Wait a minute. Sandy Koufax, the uh, rookie history card. What is this? Okay. Really? He's 85? Wow. Yeah, can't really do action films with that guy. Is Jean Claude Van Damme French? I've I've always wondered that. I just never like took the time to Google it. Is jump is jump is Jean Claude Van Damme French? If so, there you have it. Arguably the greatest action movie star of of ever. You want to assess but that's the ninety nine for the Mets. card versus Ichiro to 99 nice for the Mariners that is sweet John Claude Van Damme is from Belgium ah he got me with a Jean Claude that's what it was he, he faked me out with a Jean Claude shame on you Jean Claude He speaks French, but he's not from there. Ah, I want. I wonder if maybe his mother, or her, like maybe he's half Belgium, Belgian French. Maybe I don't know. But I think that's like a natural thing in Europe is to speak multiple languages. Brad Radke of the Twins autograph there. Like a, a cousin of mine, her husband is German. But he speaks English and Spanish too. Like, dang, bro. You already got German on lock. But you guys speak Spanish and English too? Okay. Play him. I think I think he knows Mandarin too. But then again, that, that guy's he's freaking he's a genius. That guy's loaded. Rookie history card right there. Interesting for Breeze. Interesting. Learn something new every day. Mike Trout rookie history card. Is that Switzerland, Fabrice? Swiss? Adam Kennedy, the Angels autograph. Oh no, dude! Nothing. Don't be sorry. Is that what you guys call it in uh, in France? Do not be sorry at all. That's that's how we call it in America. But I, I, I is that how you guys call it in uh 
in France? That's cool. Swiss, like some like some people call like for example Germany uh like people from Germany don't refer to themselves as as German, I think. I think they refer to themselves as from Deutschland, I think. And in way, like Wales too, like Wales is another country where they like we refer to them as you know the country of Wales, but I think it's like this crazy, crazy name. Right, Fabrice, that's that's what I meant. Interesting, interesting. Oh, Wales is Wales. I thought they had like this, this like super complicated name, or maybe that's just the titles that they they bestow upon the uh, the royalty or whatever. You know what I love about French is that it's so similar to in to Spanish. So like although I don't speak the language, I can kind of understand where like, you know what I mean? Same with Italian and Portuguese. You know, all those languages derive from Latin. What up, Big Sean? Another language that I just recently found out is extremely closely related to Spanish. Arabic. I did not, ex I did not see that one coming. What's up, Big Sean? Almost done with this archives. I got another box after this. Then we got Phoenix Football. That's a super quick break. Four boxes. And then we got Prism Football, which is a half case. That's why, that's why, you know, I was thinking, like, you know, at some point, we're just all going to become one nation. But, like, we'll still keep our, you know, our cultures to, intact. I don't know, man. Anyways. Let's see what we got here. Uh, you know, I've never seen Star Trek. But yeah, like... I, I would, You know, kind of like how we have the UN, the United Nations. I would, you know, eventually I would like there to be... And I don't know, man. This, this is probably a, a radical uh, idea here. But eventually, you know... I think it's it's time for us to 
to start seeing each other as human beings and you know just all become one nation you know like we're all from earth man we all live on the same planet you know so we should you know just help each other out but i don't know there's there's a lot of a lot of, a lot of x factors there Xander Borgers going to get in for the Red Sox there. But, you know, it'd be nice to, to say that, hey, dude, I'm from planet Earth. But I live, you know, in Florida, in the United States. Like, you can still keep your identity, you know, as a Frenchman, for example, but... First and foremost, you're 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 from the you're from planet Earth. I don't know, man. I watch too many uh, too much sci-fi stuff. I'm going to be in Georgia next weekend. I am excited. Get to go see family. Terry Steinbach, A's autograph. The heck is this? Michael Lewis. Autograph to 99. <coughs> the heck is this about? Ah, he's an author. Wrote Moneyball and The Blind Side. Hmm. I wonder who he goes to. I don't know if that goes to the sand loss spot or not. I, I gotta look that up on the checklist. See where the team designation he has. Matter of fact, pull that up right now. Michael Lewis. Uh, okay, so Michael Lewis is a part of the uh, the fan favorites, which are three of them. There's Bill James, John Thorne, and Michael Lewis. Uh, does not have a team designation. Say just to show you guys here. So here's the checklist. Look, I'll even scroll all the way up. Here's a checklist for uh, Topps Archives 2018. When you look up Michael Lewis, as you can see here, card number FFAML, and you can see it right there on the corner there, for Michael Lewis, does not have a team, no team designation. So he's going to have to get randomed amongst everyone. 
All right. And last but not least, let's see what we have here. Let me go ahead and top load of Michael Lewis now. I'm going to have to random this thing, so put it here to the side. Excuse me. Chris Fitz not talking to me anymore? Okay. That's cool. I thought we were friends, but it's cool. Uh, Alec, we always run fillers, my man. As soon as I'm done with the eBay stuff, I'll put some fillers together. Is there anything specific you're looking for, Alec? Baseball, football, basketball? We got a little bit of everything on our site, man. Check us out, dude. RipCityCards.com Ah, you want to see some prism? Well, let's see where prism is at right now. Have you gotten your team in any of the breaks, dude? Because let's see, I got a hoops break down to 12 teams. I think we can fill that today. And we have a prism football number three break down to 16 teams. I think we can fill that tonight. So visit our site, man, and get your team. And if you want to participate in fillers, I'll put one together once I'm done with the eBay breaks. Which I'm about halfway through. I got the rest of this archives break, and then I have Phoenix football after this. And then I have Prism football number three for eBay after that. And then we'll work on the store stuff. NC Teacher over on Breakers. What up? All right. Best Box Mojo. Good luck, folks. There we go, Alec. That's what I'm talking about.
How's it going, uh, NC Teacher? Hope all is well. Doing a little archives break here for eBay. How's everything with you, my dude? We got Bernie Williams of the Yankees to Billy's Pat Neshek, the autograph. Derek Lowe. Red Sox autograph. What's up, Tommy? Over on Breakers, how are you? And that's it for the break, y'all. Alright, so I'm going to recap this in a bit. But first, there is one thing we need to random. Sandlot. I've hit dang near all the Sandlot autos. What's up, Tommy? You know, doing some eBay breaks. Almost done. About halfway through. Alright, so we got this Michael Lewis card. We looked him up on the checklist. He does not have a team designation. So we gotta random him. And we're gonna random him amongst all the teams. That way everybody has, has a shot at them. Let's uh, roll the die here. Number three, that's no fun. Let's try that again. Eight. All right, let's go eight times in the random for this Michael Lewis. Go ahead and pull the randomizer up on the screen there. And let me grab teams. Copy and paste it. However, we also have the Sandlot spot, so let me add that on there. Boom, Sandlot spot, because we did sell the Sandlot spot on its own. So the here, that way everyone has a shot at it. For the Michael Lewis Auto, we're going eight times in the random. Top team gets the Michael Lewis Auto, here we go. And the money shot, eight. Boom, eight times. The Mets are at the very top. So they get the Michael Lewis card. Awesome. Now that that's done with, we can do our recap. So... We got Bernie Williams, Yankees to 25. Xander Bogers, Red Sox, 99. Cespedes, Mets, 99. Stargell Pirates, 175. Strasburg Nationals, 175. Jones Orioles, 175. And Piscotti A's to 99. We also have a Ichiro Suzuki Tops Rookie History Month uh, card. His rookie card 
number to 99 with all this uh, dust on there but that's nice what else we got as far as autographs we got Kenny the Nunez of the Sandlot the autograph sweet we ran them this off just now going to the Mets the uh, Michael Lewis card going to the Mets we also have Derek Lowe Red Sox Neshek Phillies Steinbeck A's Kennedy Angels Radke Twins Mesa of the Indians to 99 Aurelia of the Giants and a Jose Mesa for the Indians and that's going to do it for the break thank you very much we'll get it out to you